Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, everybody. We know no found no back with me. We literally know no back with me. But here is the thing now. Me up you get sick for a couple of weeks. After me get sick, I pure work me at work. I I was doing me nine to five. But me decide after me done with me nine to five, and me decide say yo, me I go start Sunday. Do back videos may not get called him up by my 95 for work for two weeks. Then me end up work an extra week, but the extra week was just me being helpful towards the workplace. You understand? Me never get paid for that extra week, just for the two weeks. Now me get me get free up, but here's the thing now, me have some pain. Many of you know this already, so many of know. I did a surgery and the doctor then gave me three years for fully heal. And the three years not come, two years out I don't come. So I still feel pain for half a whole surgery. You see, but me there and I'm there. Two, and I'm excuse them, but I don't know why I'm not getting for the video. I never get for do like, be an other city thing because I have been talking to a group of my friends, like a group of them, and I say, yo. What do I actually want? Because these are, that is, that is one of my friends, you know, but some of my people from on Instagram, they say, yo, what what do you guys actually want? You see, the man is saying, just want to know for use Reaper. Man is just use Reaper and beat matching, bro, inside a Reaper. The basics are mixing using Serato. Because some of them can mix, you know. But then like every song they use, they use beat grid, so they want to learn how to mix differently, like different methods of music. I say, all right. So yes, come on, do. Now, this very video now, what is episode one? Or uh, I should ask, or I should say, the first video of the series. How to use Reaper to make remixes. This is just a how to use Reaper video. Now, what's going to take place? I'm going to show you the parts of Reaper where you guys need to know how to make remixes. I'm not going to go down in a full details. You know, if there is a tool and somebody asks me how to use it, I will make a video on that specific tool separately. But this is just to cover, this particular video is just to cover all the tools and shortcuts you will be needing to make a remix. You see, don't make how my Reaper fall on you know. Don't make how it look fall on you. It's the same as Reaper you have. You understand? And I'm praying that you guys have version, any any one of the um the version over 6.5 you see me like a 6.5 forward when we go to z and i hit 6.5 yes yeah, some of this uh, when we go with many of the things i'm going to teach enough teach enough to use in a reaper so with no further ado we're going to go over to the mac you see it we're going to go over to the mac and we just go Go through everything on the Mac. So let's. I go now. So here go guys. This button over here, so is called the tabs button. You click it, you create a new tab. You guys are gonna need to learn this. For all who is going to want to learn to make remix, and especially person in we need to learn how to create mixed deep inside a reaper you double click over here so to add a track you double click or you may delete 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 or you can insert track insert again or you can just go in your browser drag and drop a song in there and it automatically create a track with a song on it. Here's the thing now. The reason I dragged in this uh, my song now. I'm going to teach you guys. First thing we're going to do. We're going to find the BPM of this particular song. If you guys are going to do 
remixes and I'm going to need to know the BPMs of the song. After I know the BPM, you guys are going to put the BPM of the instrumental to be specific right down here at BPM. So for instance, a 100 bam. Yeah, you're gonna put it right here, so get to me and say. So we just want to know that. When you put in the BPM of the song, if you join the instrumental first, then you do it. We're not gonna need to change the change the BPM. Put that back a one. And now you can just match up the the, the, the beat by whatever it be. But this Roxy song, um, I know 100 it be. Get that out of the way now. Delete track. Two, you guys are going to need to know the difference. Um, the, the shortcut, I should say. You're going to need to know to turn on the grid, turn off the grid. Snap into the grid. So, so far I say the Roxy song was in here. Let me just, you know what? Let me use a different song. Bam, this song is in here. Snap into the grid is when you move a song, it snaps. As you look, it snaps. If I turn off it, it just move. Yeah. We don't need to know that. When you lock, the gum locking now. I'm um, locking your swag again. Oh, yeah. I post the tiny signature is supposed to lock. When I do that. So. I go. I don't remember which one. Wait, I go. Yes, sir. I don't really remember where this part color. Um, so unlock. But yeah, we don't need to know them. But as I say, when I go use this snap to grid, grid, when I now go use that. This is. Now, what else we're not going to use? Make know. Yeah, that's it. Play pause. We might, yeah, we're not going to use the zoom out button. How to zoom out the wave. Zoom in. This is zoom out and the amount of tracks. So, for instance, maybe you have. Um, I want, I want, yeah. I don't want to see all our tracks. I want to zoom also. You understand with that zoom out, zoom in. Yeah, let me just undo that those stills. That's a very unnecessary. You understand? So now we need to know these. This is the playback rate that control the playback of the entire project. This you will most likely use in mixtape. And you guys will learn about that while, while I'm teaching how to create a short mix. Because if you're a DJ like me, your ears is used to a certain tempo. And you do not want to come outside of that particular tempo. You understand? But if it use this and change it a little bit, you end up changing the tempo slightly and the key of the entire mix. Depends upon certain situations okay all right pause button play button your pause stop button yeah this is your um repeat so when the song start finish like i down here so now you just start back instantly without you of anything you need to learn the shortcuts now Learn this on the shortcuts. You guys will just go into show action list and you click um on the keyboard and see what each button do. You can also just do it this way. Shortcuts, I just read through this. Um, some of these you guys um will see it differently on. Your Reaper because they have modified some of these um, for my purposes. If I'm using Reaper and I use a shortcut, I would like to set that part that shortcut. Just comment. I will actually just show you do a video. 
most common shortcut that remain the same between where, how I use it and you guys I go have it freshly installed Reaper. The ones that are same is double o, that make you jump straight back to the end. S for split. D for dynamic split. Um shift D for duplicate and I will then call it this one for the master track tempo envelope these as well to copy so by knowing these you guys will be good and just the things they wanna go use in a reaper so yeah that come to this end of this particular video stay tuned for the next video I'm just switch over to my phone switch over to my phone yeah so just stay tuned for the next video um again make sure if you just be more consistent now but with a life when I guys to share out the videos I'm going to teach you guys how to make this remix inside a reaper but we don't want to just bulk up everything I give you guys because I realize it's my own Naga kitchen so make sure if you break it down in steps best as possible when I plan the videos must I'll come and say okay time to teach this part right now I'll just give you a video right now but I'm glad if you guys will listen to my new mixtape it near for the summer it's an audio mac and it's on youtube but it's on my next youtube channel so guys please i'm asking for your support please and thanks i'm out oh yeah big up to royal boss royal boss is free yeah man but now i go talk now on the topic because every time i mention something on the topic the people say oh me a gaza fan but i'm not a gaza fan I mean, I don't want to call cause me a data fan either because I realize I'm um for my next channel, I always call me a vendetta selector. I mean, I night. So now you get me upon that. You understand? I am a fan of all artists. I support all artists. I don't want to support all artists because, to be honest, there are many new artists that I don't listen to their songs. I don't know their songs. I know of them, but I don't listen to their song. Reason being, this song not really pull me. For instance, if you say, I will go out and listen to your song, but if a supporter of yours comes to me and say, Yo, you need to have that particular song, you find that particular artist, a bad song, we go download this song and try to get this song. You see it? But I still support everybody, I don't like me, I don't get no artist. You see it? Big up on yourself. I'm out.